Hi, thanks for joining us. This is Dr. Emil Chin at Park Avenue Lace Sec. Uh, we're the only 100% non-cutting pure lace sec center in the United States. Uh, we're very famous for that, but I'd like to explain the difference between lace sec, lace sick, epi lace sick, and pure cat. So we're just getting ready for the procedure, and just so we uh, have an idea of the different procedures, I like to group them into cutting versus non-cutting. So cutting is lace sick with a metal blade or interlays or bladeless where we cut a flap with the laser. Uh, this is the latest and most advanced safe non-cutting form. This is an epi lace sec keratome. Um, I pioneered the term epi lace sec about 10 years ago because it's really more a lace sec than a lace sec. A lace sec means that you're pushing away the skin of the eye. A lace sec again means you're cutting a flap into the cornea. This is an epi keratome and it's, uh, the angle's not that great so you can't see the separator but this is not a blade it's a little piece of plastic in there it's blunt and it doesn't have the edge to go into the cornea even if you wanted to so it's not a knife it's like a spatula so this is just gently sliding across the cornea and because it doesn't have any sharpness to the edge um, it just skids across and removes the epithelium of your eye now the reason it's advantageous to not cut a flap there's probably three or four reasons. Number one, we don't cause dry eyes because by cutting the corneal nerves, that causes the eye to be dry because it decreases the blink rate. Number two, we avoid night glare and halos. I have that after my lace sick because my cornea is now in two pieces and when light comes in, it reflects and refracts off of that interface. With the surface procedures, again, those are lace sec, epi lace sec, and PRK. Uh, you don't have a two-piece cornea and therefore you don't have as much night glare. It's also safer because if you get punched in the eye, like if you play uh, contact sports, it's not a problem. Uh, recently, we did uh, Epi Lace Sec on uh, David Branch, who's a pretty famous mixed martial arts guy. So you can see I already removed the skin of the eye. It's in one piece, unlike a PRK. A PRK is an older procedure I stopped performing 20 years ago, and you scrape off the epithelium in many pieces, which causes pain and inflammation and scarring, and that's why no no advanced surgeon does PRKs anymore. So if a surgeon says he's going to do a PRK in you, you should say thank you very much and then go to somebody who does a, a LASIK or epi -LASIC. Uh You can see we took off the epithelium. Now I'm just using a wet cell. It's a cellulose sponge to gently dry the cornea. Make sure there's no uh, water on the cornea, otherwise it blocks the laser beam and you get an undercorrection. And you can see there's just a little bit of heme on the top of the eye. That's because you wore contact lenses too long or overnight or both and uh, new blood vessels grew in. So one of the advantages of laser vision correction is afterwards uh, those blood vessels are gonna go away because you know he's not gonna have to wear contacts for the rest of his life. So you can see I took off the skin of the eye, it's nice and neat. Um, I'm just drawing off the surface, making sure there's no moisture or anything else to get in the way of the laser. Uh, the laser is so advanced that we can now treat 25 times more accurately than glasses or contacts. Uh, so typically I'm getting people slightly better than glasses or contacts just because it's a more accurate prescription. Okay, so when I had it done, uh, HD did not exist. Now almost all the patients are getting high definition. This is the laser. It's an ultraviolet laser. You really can't see it. The patient has to look at a blinking uh, red LED fixation light because the laser is ultraviolet and invisible. Um, it takes about 10 seconds per adopter, so if the person's minus three, it only takes 30 seconds at most, maybe more like 20 seconds. The advantages of doing the epi lace sec instead of the lace sec is a quicker recovery and less discomfort. So we've had people have this done after, let's say, they had a PRK primary maybe 10 years ago by another surgeon, and they need a touch-up, they decide to come to me because the PRK hurt, and then they have this, and afterwards they're like, oh, I can't believe it didn't hurt at all. Um, I thought that LASIK was pretty much like a PRK. Now, this is probably what surgeons who do PRK tell people because, you know, they don't do LASIK. So we've had many, many patients have a LASIK after a first PRK by a different surgeon, and they said it's shockingly painless. So as long as the contact lens stays in the eye and it doesn't fall out, it, it's not painful at all. This is just, you know, irrigating. We're going to put a bandage contact lens. You need the bandage contact lens to help healing so that when the patient blinks, he's not blinking over the surface so the skin of the eye grows back. One of the advances that I pioneered is getting rid of the flap. We used to put the flap back on uh, and getting rid of the flap makes the healing quicker. I should mention that uh, LASIK was invented by two of my colleagues at Harvard and I've, you know, pioneered this and advanced it um, over the um, last, you know, 10 to 20 years. So now we're just putting on the bandage contact lens and uh, antibiotic drop, uh, steroid drop to prevent scarring and a non-steroidal, which is like liquid motion to prevent pain 
or discomfort afterwards. And you know, he's gonna sit up and see, he's gonna be legal to uh, drive, we're gonna take off the speculum. And then he just has to understand after the surface procedure, instead of you know a one or two day recovery for LASIK, uh, it's gonna be more like a three or four day recovery for um, epi-LASIK, and maybe five, six day recovery for uh, LASIK, and maybe seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 40 day recovery for PRK, uh, which you won't do anymore. Okay, so um, yeah, so the actual procedure took less than a minute per eye. It was longer on the right eye because the prescription was a little higher. I guess we'll count to three and we'll see if you can read the sound. Okay, you ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Oh, wow. Hey! <laughs> I can actually see the flag of the Bank of America. I didn't hey. even know there was a flag. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so look, this is the worst thing to see for the rest of your life. Every day is going to get sharper for like at least a month. Okay? Okay. You'll be like glass in the context in a week, and you should be maybe slightly sharper than glass in the context in like a month. Okay. Wow. It's pretty cool, right? Yeah, it's amazing. Wow. Yeah. I could even read the parking signs right there. I didn't even know there was parking signs there either. So. Well, those are kind of small signs, by the way. So the people who can read the parking signs, half of those people will get to better than 21. Okay. Awesome. Because that's, that's very small stuff. Nice. I have to say, his mom was very nervous. You know, his uh -huh. mom's always very bad there. Yeah. But let me tell you, the procedure was so easy. Do, right? And yeah. you know what? And I'm so happy that he has um, good vision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, more, he's worn glasses. Right. So this is great that he doesn't have to wear glasses. So if anyone's thinking about doing this, they should definitely consider doing it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, call 212-741-8628. We're the only center in New York City that lets you come in and actually watch surgery. It's because it's non-cutting. We can't have a complication. The consultation's in free. You have nothing to lose except your glasses and contacts forever.